Hey guys, so uh, I mentioned the other day that I have several of uh, these kinds of bookshelves that you kind of nail to your wall and they end up looking a bit like uh, floating bookshelves, uh, and uh, I haven't hung any yet, um, but I think I'm going to do that and I thought I would record it for you guys in time lapse like I did with the uh, normal shelves. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll get right to it. Um, as I'm sure you could tell, that was a bit of a struggle, and they are still a little crooked. They aren't quite lined up, despite my moving the second one, like, six or seven times. And, uh, I thought I would also just take a look around at my bookshelves, let you guys see them all. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and do that. So, beginning here, we have the religious books in the same spot they were. Here we have my memoirs my now much larger uh, section of plays um, because of the Shakespeare read-along. Um, there's my fiction beginning. Um, that's actually right there. That That's actually a journal, old journal of mine. Um, oh wait, that's the same shelf. Okay, uh, here's more fiction. Um, those are some unused journals right there. Some more fiction. You can see my Hardy and Lawrence. Um, uh, Moby Dick, Marilyn Robinson, etc. Virginia Woolf at the end. Um, and coming over here, um, right here, I just kind of, I had to pick the books that didn't fit on, uh, those shelves to go here. So this is just kind of a random assortment. So this is Armenian Golgotha, that right there is Death Comes for the Archbishop, which I haven't read yet. I haven't read either of those yet. Then, uh, Frank McCourt's two, first two memoirs, um, Wuthering Heights and the uh, Oedipus Trilogy. Then at the top of this one, uh, we have Luke Homeward Angel, Sherman Alexi, and we have these three books about the Gollum. Here we have my one lonely graphic novel, novel uh, and then The Silmarillion. And then, uh, sorry, there's the cat. Uh-oh. I hope she doesn't jump up on those. <laughs> that might be a problem. Oh boy. Okay, well, anyway, um, here is poetry. And I made a decision to uh, put all of my uh, sort of narrative poems, like the Canterbury Tales and uh, the Kalevalas there, the Epic of Gilgamesh, to put them here with the other poetry because almost all of them were too tall for the other shelves, so I just figured, why not? And then we have a bit of a continuation of poetry because they couldn't all quite fit up there, but then we have nonfiction beginning. Um, all of these I've talked about in either bookshelf tour or, uh, halls, and then at the bottom more nonfiction, and then there's some random reference books at the end, and, uh, let's see, here is a, this is a book about Prague, history of Prague, that I haven't talked about yet, that my mom gave me, um, so it's just photos old and new of Prague, uh, along with a history of Prague, um, so I need to read this, uh, it won't take me long, it's not, obviously you can see there's not much text, but, um, I'm excited about this, I, I don't know enough about Czech history, so this will be fun. Um, anyway, and then, another book I haven't talked about, which is Teacher Cat Tricks, <laughs> which I haven't used yet, <laughs> but it's there. So, uh, yeah, um, those are my new shelves, um, they look crooked, of course. It's kind of sad that uh, my mom's maiden name is Carpenter, <laughs> um, and now we've I've descended to this level. But uh, you know, anyway, bye guys.